What's going on my friends welcome back to another video today we're going to be breaking down and giving you guys a full tutorial of travis scott's new trailer for Astro World. we have a bunch of really cool stuff going on in this trailer so they filmed this in an abandoned mall so this is part really nice set design and also part really good editing but i also want to tell you guys that it's very simple to create these kind of creative designs here using just editing so all of these were placed in here as well as the ice coals looking really nice all these kind of moving planets it's actually very simple to do like i said also i want to give you guys a little bonus and i'm going to show you guys how you can get these three wolves in here i'm not going to show you how to do this kind of flying thing i'm pretty sure cinecom.net has an awesome tutorial talking about how to do that so a link to that will be down below just want to mention if you guys are new here consider subscribing joining the community for regular tutorials music videos a bunch of other useful stuff for you guys to check out and enjoy also if you do enjoy the content please leave a like it helps the growth of this channel a huge amount other thing i want to mention is the first link down below you guys are going to find a link to our facebook group if you guys are directors editors or you're just interested in doing stuff like this the kind of creative aspects behind video or if you're just interest in music check out our Facebook group down below all right so here's my footage within Premiere I'm gonna quickly show you a simple little color grade and then we're gonna hop this into After Effects and I'm gonna show you how you can kind of build this 3d set so I have a shot here just walking down this alley but I'm gonna show you how we can replicate that as best as possible so let's just go down to the bare bones and just do a simple little color grade what I'm gonna do is just put on a little LUT here that is going to kind of pop the blacks out because if you look in that footage you guys are gonna see some really nice contrast so I'm gonna put the CMG summer LUT on here and I'm just gonna go into basic correction I'm gonna bump up the exposure to maybe like 0.8 and then I'm also going to drop down the saturation to around 47 a little bit less colorful and a little bit more kind of like winter vibe all this although this was shot in the fall I'm also gonna click on here and just drop down the temperature a bit and you want to do it to the point where it looks like it's more cold and blue but not to the point where it's completely washed out something like that so I'm gonna make it something around um, 30 35 at the most so let's go ahead and just right click on this footage and we're going to click replace with After Effects composition just like that okay guys so we now have our footage within After Effects looking like that now another thing that's gonna really help you with this next part of the tutorial is you want to have smooth footage you don't want to have it moving around too much you want to have a nice stabilizer or you want to have footage that isn't moving too much because what we're gonna do is we're going to 3d track this footage once we 3d track this footage we can then add in all the elements that we'd like to place in and composite into the scene anyways let's go ahead and track this footage go ahead and right click here and we're gonna go to track stabilize and we're going to go ahead and click track camera and it's going to say analyzing in background that is the computer just kind of generating all the 3d points okay guys so as you can see the computer went through and it made the 3d track you can see all these points if you put your mouse around here you can see the different little cursors so now that we have this 3d camera tracker on guys it's pretty simple to create the rest of the tutorial we just need to add the elements in that we would like so for example let's add some kind of crazy rotating planets coming towards the the camera now there's two ways that we can do this now you guys can either search on YouTube for some green screen things that we're gonna put in I'll put in some green screen stuff later like the kind of like the kind of meteor coming down and crashing another really good website for this is footagecrate.com link down in the description I've talked about this a lot they have a bunch of awesome elements that you guys can put in here let me just go ahead and search up planet and let's go ahead and just find a nice kind of spinning planet and you guys can get a lot of awesome things for this video just from the site let's look up snow and we can find some really cool snow that we can put in here now you can even composite in this kind of ground snow okay guys while we are waiting for those elements to download and install onto our computer what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some little things from scratch just so I can show you how this 3d tracking method is really gonna work and then we're gonna move into something even more awesome which is creating a 3d wolf and putting it into our scene so I'll show you how to do that first let me just show you how to do the basics by adding these little lights now these lights kind of remind me of the little map from Star Wars where they kind of open it up and you can see all the little planets as you can see right here just little kind of ball just little orbs of light and we're gonna create that and we're gonna 3d track it as you'll see if I play this through here they're moving through 3d space let's hop into After Effects and let's create this from scratch it's really easy like I said so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our footage here and we're going to come up to our effect controls and we're just gonna click create camera and that is gonna make a 3d camera right here and this is super useful because now we can just add 3d layers into the scene and they're going to be tracked with the camera like like they were shot in the actual scene so to do this let's go ahead and create our first little star our little orb so let's right click down here and we're gonna go to new and then we're gonna go to solid and make sure you're making a black solid and I'm just gonna name this star and click OK now what we're gonna do here is we're going to go to our effects and presets over on the right and we're just gonna look up a simple little lens flare and it doesn't have to be a plug-in you can just use the generate lens flare built into After Effects drag that in there guys and then come up to the top left in your effect controls and we're gonna change around some settings so first off let's get rid of this black background click the toggle switches and modes button down here until you can see the blending modes and then change that to screen 
and then now we can actually change your settings so I usually change it to a 105 prime you can experiment with whatever ones you like and just bump down the brightness a bit until it's kind of just like an orb all right so that's starting to look pretty good the only issue is as I move along here it's not moving so this isn't tracked in 3d space this is kind of just stamped onto the page so to make this in 3d space to get this to be tracked what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that toggle switches and modes button one more time and then you're gonna see some switches here so we're gonna click this little 3d cube switch this is enabling it as a 3d layer let's do that for our star layer and you're gonna see it disappear but let's just scroll through here until we find where it is and there it is looking really cool like it's actually in the scene and we can go ahead and change that and place that wherever we like so I actually like the position of that right there just because he kind of dodges around it so it kind of looks pretty cool so let's make another one and then change the position of that so click on our star layer go ahead and click Control D to duplicate it and now let's just click down this triangle click down our transform you guys may notice that you have some extra transform options than you normally would with the 2d layer you can now change the orientation as well as you have another axis to change so this is your X axis for position this is your this is your Y axis and then this is your Z axis so that will move it back within 3d space so let's just move this back and let's go ahead and just change these positions around make it smaller drag it up it's gonna look like you're just making it smaller but in reality if you drag back you're gonna see now that it's stuck there in 3d space and we can move these wherever we like like I said so let's start at the beginning looks pretty dope just like that some 3d orbs dodge around that and let's go ahead and just duplicate that and maybe put another one kind of higher up so transform let's change the rotation of this one just so the flare is kind of in a different spot and let's bring the Z a little bit closer to the camera. All right, so something like that. So we got a pretty cool little sci-fi look. Here's another bonus tip. If you guys do have the Sapphire plugins, I've talked about them in a lot of my videos, you guys can go ahead and search. You guys can go ahead and search for an effect called Glint. So search up Glint and then add that onto your lens flare. You're gonna see it kind of creates this little um, star pattern. So this is what it looks like with the Glint added. Uh, which show you that real quick and of course this is completely optional this is kind of just like a little aesthetic added if you guys do have the plugins and I'm just gonna bump down the threshold of that and kind of just make it like that star shape so now it's just more shaped like a star you kind of have those little uh, beams of light coming out like that and I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste that onto the rest of my stars just like that also another added little thing we can do is just add a flicker if you guys do need any glow or flicker effects for After Effects or Premiere check out my website link down in the description we've got some really cheap ones you guys can check out so now we actually have some realistic little flickering 3d track stars and that's starting to look pretty cool so that honestly is just the basis of how we can 3d track objects in there now what you need to do is just take the elements that I talked about downloading before and do the same thing just drag them in there make them 3d layers and then composite them in however you'd like now I'm gonna show you how to do that in a little bit but first let's hop forward to something completely different but super awesome and then at the end I'll hop in here and just show you how to composite everything else by repeating the steps that I just showed you so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a giant wolf right here behind his legs and to do that we're gonna have to do a few things now you guys have a few options on how you can do this the absolute bare bones cheapest way to do this is just by getting a green screen wolf and just doing that same 3d tracking method but it's probably not gonna look good it's probably gonna look cartoony it's hard to find actual good green screen footage of what you want so I recommend you guys try this out now usually when I do this I would go on a site like turbo squid something that sells 3d models and I would look up wolf the only issue with this is the average price for a wolf is super expensive as you can see it goes all the way up to like a thousand dollars three thousand dollars you can go ahead and just click on the free ones and they're just not gonna be that high quality as you can see just kind of like looking like ball so what I'm gonna do is show you a quick little workaround for this this is using a software called Daz studio and this is completely free I highly recommend this it's gonna save you some money as well it's going to give you access to a bunch of more stuff that you can bring in a bunch more 3d models that you can put in different poses you can animate let me show you what I'm talking about so link down in the description just check out Daz and like I said this is a free 3d software coolest thing about this is you just download this you download the installer and then you can go ahead and click on this little galleries thing you can check out some awesome stuff that you might like click on it and since it goes through the installer you don't have to put anything in different files it'll automatically go into Daz and they have awesome they have so much stuff they have clothing they have characters they have animals what I did is I added a wolf so if you just look up wolf here's what we have this is the wolf that I did it's only $30 now the only issue is if you want this nice realistic hair you're gonna have to get an extension for this and this is called look at my hair and this is called look at my hair or LAMH 
Let me just search up that real quick. L A M H. Now this plugin is $50. So if you get that and the other one, it's still around $80. But the difference is you don't just have one wolf model. Now you have this plugin, which is super nice. It adds this really realistic hair particles to anything you want, anything else you add from Daz. So if you're going to do it, I recommend you do it this way. I'm not sponsored by these people at all. This is just the best way that I found because you do have to spend a little bit of money. Do save some money doing it this way and you have access to all these animals you want for the future videos. You don't have to keep buying expensive models when you do need them. So once you've downloaded all this, once you've downloaded Look at My Hair, once you've downloaded the animal model that you do want, let's hop into Daz real quick. So we're in Daz, and if you just install that through your installer that you get when you're downloading Daz, what you can do is just click install, you can search for the wolf, and then just double click it to install all the content that you're gonna need. Once you've done that, just click on content library, and you're going to be able to open up these folders. You're gonna be able to find the Look at My Hair figure for the wolf. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save my After Effects project and close that real quick so that my computer does not explode uh, while I'm doing this because doing both this at the same time could be a little bit um, intensive for your computer. What we're gonna do now is just choose the wolf that we want. So let's just double click on this wolf L-A-M-H preset already on that, the actual look at my hair stuff that I was talking about. So double click it, it's gonna drag in here. All right, and here's what it looks like. We can just use this little cube to rotate. Um, it's pretty simple controls to get the hang of, even though it might be a new software for a lot of you guys. Now here's the issue. Now you guys may think that you can just have this model without the Look In My Hair plugin, but if we go and actually try and but if we go and actually try and render this, you guys are gonna see that when we open up the render, you guys are gonna see that when it renders, um, it's just hairless, it's looking like a naked mole rat. So what we need to do is we need to apply some little steps onto here, and it's pretty simple. So let's just change this back to texture shaded. And what we need to do now is we just need to click window, go to panels, and then go ahead and just click at look at my hair and you can just drop this over here. Like I said, if you guys are new to this, you don't need to know the ins and outs of this software. All you really need to know is this look at my hair panel, as well as this kind of scene panel, which is basically just your layers. So let's go back to look at my hair, and all we need to do here is just click to OBJ. So let's just click that, and I'm gonna stop the recording here just because it's probably gonna make my recording lag because it's going to bring all the OBJ stuff in there. Once you click this, you need to wait for a little bit. Don't start clicking everything. Wait for it to all kick into gear, and then just okay all of the dialog boxes that pop up. So go ahead and click to OBJ, and then just click yes. Okay guys, so now once these hair particles turn back to green, that means you're all ready to go. Now let me just show you something cool, and this is why we had to change, this is why we had to click to OBJ. So let's click back on scene and then we're going to just open up this wolf look at my hair group And now what we have is we actually have the hair connected to the geometry of the wolf So we can go ahead and just hide these real quick to show you It's gonna hide the green and then as you can see as you can see this group 0 1 and 2 is now connected to the actual Geometry like that. So we have some really cool particles if you guys are into 3d renders of pictures Creating awesome stuff like that. What you can do is just render it out through Daz if that's your thing I know there's a whole community, but we want to bring this in our footage I'm gonna show you how to rig it so that it's ready for animation so let's just bring these layers back real quick and what we're gonna do is bring this into cinema 4d or any other 3d software you guys are familiar with so this is a super important step make sure that you guys do this you're gonna click here hold down control and click there so just make sure everything is selected before you export it now you're gonna want to go to file and then you're gonna want to go to export and we're gonna export this as an Autodesk FBX this is kind of like the most common 3d file format and we're gonna go ahead and name this wolf tutorial now it's going to pop up a little fbx export options now you guys can go ahead and copy what i have here a lot of it isn't really going to make that much of a difference except for this make sure that you have props checked because if you don't it as you see the lamh group which is the actual hair isn't going to be connected because it's a prop so make sure props is checked it's all going to say yes and then we're ready click accept and it's going to export that okay guys in five minutes later this finally exported we now closed as and I'm just not gonna save that because we already have it exported. Now let's open up Cinema 4D or any 3D software you guys like to use and are familiar with. For me, it's Cinema 4D. All right guys, now let's go ahead and set this wolf up and get it ready to rig. Now let's go ahead and click File, Open, and let's find where we save that. So Wolf Tutorial um, FBX, and we can click OK. Click OK again. All right, so right off the bat, it's gonna look like absolute cartoon garbage, which I think this is just an issue going from uh, Daz to Cinema 4D. But what we can do to fix this is just click open on um, these little um, plus signs and find this tag right here under the wolf, find this tag right here next to the wolf shape, the weight tag, go ahead and click that and then delete it. And that's gonna go back to normal just like this. 
which is good. And now what we need to do is we just need to combine the skeleton to the actual mesh that we have. So the cool thing about Daz and the FBX is it already has built a skeleton for you whenever you do this. So you don't need to actually draw all those joints. You don't need to do all that. That's all taken care of, which is super useful. So just a little overview, this LAMH group is the hair. Right click on our wolf joints. This is the skeleton and we're gonna go to select children and it's gonna select all that. Now let's hold down control and just click our wolf shape mesh and then we're gonna go over to character and then we're gonna go over to commands and then we're gonna click bind. Now you're gonna see all this popped up and now this should be completely rigged. So now we can open up all these joints and we can go ahead and try to move something just to test it out. So let's just open up all this until we get to the head and let's click the head. Let's click the rotate tool and rotate that all right so that's good so if it's moving it is successfully rigged now i'm not going to animate it in this video guys if you want me to if you want me to do a full tutorial on just the wolf to walk around or do different things let me know in the comment section down below i really want to just show you how to bring it in how to connect it and then now i'm going to show you how to track it into the footage that we have because honestly i think animating and all the like little stuff is going to work better for a separate tutorial so if you do want to see that let me know if it's too complicated let me know in the comments let me know what you guys think it's all going to be based off of you guys but anyways, let me just show you guys how to track this into the footage. And like I said, down in the comments below, let me know if I should make the separate video talking about the animation of the wolf itself and just other things connected to this. So real quick, let's just click this button here and just see what this looks like rendered out. You guys are going to see it is a super smooth render. It's going to look really nice, really realistic. We've got that nice um, hair going on there with all those little particles. Now let's bring this in After Effects. Now to do this, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and just file go ahead and just file save as and I'm just gonna name this wolf tutorial c4d and the only difference is instead of being saved as an FBX this is now saved as a cinema 4d project file so save that and we can go ahead and just exit out of here for now and now we're gonna set up our 3d model within our tracked footage alright so we are back in our project with our little 3d stars now let's go ahead now let's go ahead and get this ready to bring our wolf in now to do this here's what we're gonna do so first of all let's just select just our footage and our 3d camera tracker so hold down shift select them both Control C and then I'm just gonna start a new composition and I'm just gonna make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and this is just going to be our track comp go ahead and click OK and then let's click down here control V so now we just have the regular footage with our 3d camera track so what we can do now guys is just click on our bottom footage let's go up to our effect controls and then just click on the 3d camera tracker and now what we want to do is we want to create a plane and this plane and this is just going to stand as a placeholder so when we bring our wolf in we can line it up correctly so let's right click let's kind of figure out where we want to put the wolf maybe in the background back here so right click there and click create solid and if it creates a duplicate camera just go ahead and delete that now we can go ahead and select that track solid and just kind of stretch it out something like this you can move it over a tiny bit and then let's just test it out so scroll forward and that's what it's going to look like so it's correctly tracked we have the plane in the right place now let's put the wolf where that plane is so to do that we're going to go up to file we're going to go to export and we're going to go to maxon cinema 4d exporter click OK for that and then just find where you want to save this and then just save this in a place where you guys are going to remember I'm just going to put it in the same folder and I'm just going to name this track comp tutorial footage but also what you guys can do here is you can just render out just the footage make sure there's no 3d camera track or no solid you can do that in the normal exporter export it out as like an mov or an mp4 however you like it i've already done that in premiere beforehand but make sure you guys do do that now once we've done that let's open up cinema 4d again and then here's what we're going to do we're going to click file we're going to click open and we're going to go ahead and find that and then we're gonna go ahead and find the file that we just exported from After Effects, the Cinema 4D file. Track comp tutorial footage, double click that and open it. And what we have here, if you open this up, is we have our 3D camera tracker and we have the solid we made, which is super useful. And if you drag along here, this is exactly what the track information is like. Now to give yourself a little bit of a reference, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna find the original footage that you guys just exported in After Effects or Premiere. So let's go ahead and right click here, reveal and explore. And here is the footage itself, just a normal MP4. Bring that into Cinema 4D and drop that here where the materials go. So just drop that there, click yes. All right, so now we have this nice little material, this 3D material. What we're gonna do now is we're going to come up here to our tools, this little 3D floor thing, hold down click on that and then click 
background and then just drag your material onto the background. So now we have a little placeholder and this is just a picture, it's not a video, but this is just gonna help you out um, and it's gonna be lined up whenever we finish this all out. So now all we need to do guys is just bring our wolf in and put it where this plane is and it's gonna be lined up and perfect, ready to go. We're gonna come over up here and we're gonna click file and then click merge objects. Now let's go ahead and find the Cinema 4D project file of the wolf that we saved. So I named it wolf tutorial C4D click open and it's gonna bring that in there and as you see it's all the way down here so this is kind of like the tricky part we just need to line it up what I'm gonna do is if you see these little you see these little two dots here what you can do is just highlight over them until they're red so make the background disappear keep the track solid there but we're also going to turn the camera red so that we can just freely move around let's go ahead and make the wolf easier to move around so click the wolf shape hold down control click wolf hold down control and then click the LAMH, the look in my hair group, then click Alt G. And that's just gonna put them in a group, nest them together, put them in a null. Now we can just move this null around. So find the little bottom arrow and make sure you're on the little mover tool. Take that and then bam, just drag it up. And here it is. So we have our model here. Now just use these tools at the top right to kind of navigate, to kind of navigate to where this should be. So let's go back and just use these little axes to just drag this back. And like I said, these tools at the top are gonna help you. All right, so we got it on the plane. Now we need to make this bigger. So let's click on our null. Let's go to coordinates and let's just make the scale of this. Um, I would say 30 for everything. So 30, click tab, 30, 30. See what that looks like. Good, so now we can move that back a little bit more and then move it up a little bit more. Awesome, so it's starting to be in place. Let's click the rotation tool and just kind of dip that down a bit, maybe like that. All right, looking good. Now let's bring back your camera and see how this looks in our footage. So turn that to green, um, turn this to green, and then this little target next to your 3D camera, just click that and it'll go to your camera. And if it still looks a little messed up, just kind of drag this timeline. All right, and here is what we're working with. So now let's move the wolf over a little bit. It's still kind of uh, a little bit to the left. And now we can position this so there we go. So now we actually have the wolf lined up. And as you see, if we drag along here, since we have that 3D camera, it's gonna stay where it should be staying, which is awesome. It's perfect, it's ready to go. Let's bring this back in After Effects. Now there's a few ways you can do this and turn off that reference background and you can just turn off the solid and you can turn off the solid and you can just go to your render settings, render it out as a transparent video. I'm gonna save that for the actual individual video of the wolf. Just to keep it simple, what I'm gonna do is just file and save this as a Cinema 4D project file. So let's save it as wolf tutorial tracked. Right, so we're in our project bin. Let's go find that save that we just made. We'll find that project file that we just saved. So it's in this folder and it is called wolf tutorial tracked. Drag that in our project bin. Okay guys, so our project file is in. Let's just drag that onto our timeline right there. And there it is guys. So just like that and look completely tracked looking awesome completely 3D tracked in the right place. It's gonna stay in that corner of the alley. Now to get rid of the joint showing and to get rid of this 3D plane, what I'm going to do, make it look like the fully rendered out wolf. Just come over here to where it says renderer, change it from software to final. Okay guys, so now let's forget about the wolf for a bit. I'm gonna actually delete it just so it doesn't uh, make my computer lag a super amount while I'm adding all this other stuff in. Let's go ahead and let me just show you how to composite those other elements that we downloaded earlier so that we can finish off this tutorial. All right, so we're back in the composition with our little lights and let's add in some of the stuff that we are downloading. All right, so we got that all in there and now we can just composite this in as an overlay or even 3D track it. So let's check out some of the stuff we got going on. Maybe a little planet, so a little spinning planet just like that. Let's go ahead and use that same technique I was showing you at the beginning guys to make that a 3D layer and then place it where we would like. So go ahead and click toggle switches and modes till you see this. Enable 3D layer and just find out where it is. So it's kind of all the way back here. Let's go ahead and open up these transform options and we're gonna move this around to where we want. And it's looking a little bit too much like Earth. So let's go ahead and just invert this. So let's add a little invert effect. Okay, guys, so we have our little planet floating in there, stylized, looking all cool. Let's add a little quick little shadow. So control D to duplicate it. And let's just kind of flip it to the ground. The cool thing about the 3D track is this is always gonna like follow itself. So something like that, let's just fill it with black. So look up a fill effect, drop that on our shadow and then make it black. And then toggle switches and modes and just change the blending mode to something like soft light. Now you have a little shadow. We can also add a little blur. Let's add a little 
Gaussian blur onto the shadow just so it's a little bit softer on the edges. Use mostly 2D stuff here, which isn't going to look as good as if you use 3D stuff and you can use 3D elements. Check out some of these other videos I have linked below talking about how to add 3D things in here. And to do this, we're going to use element 3D. So right click down here, let's go to new, let's go to solid, click OK. And then let's go ahead and go to our effects and we're going to look up element. Now this is Element 3D from Video Copilot. I've made a bunch of videos talking about how to do this already. So let's drag that in there. And then let's go to Scene Setup and let's just make a simple little asteroid. In the starter pack for Video Copilot, I actually just found out that he just has some normal rocks. So I'm just gonna use a rock just like that. I'm gonna click OK, bring in our rock and let's get this little keyframe going. Let's click here, go up to our effect controls and then open up our world transform, open up our world rotation. We're going to want to drag that Z position all the way back so that at the beginning it's kind of small and we also want to um, position this so that it's over up and to the left, something like that. Alright now once you have that in your starting position and I actually have it hidden at the beginning, just go ahead and keyframe all those, drag a bit, drag to maybe like the two second mark and then let's just bump that Z position so that it's actually close to the camera and because as you change around these values it's going to kind of shift around so make sure you're just changing things as you go shifting left right up and down so that it really does come through the camera and then make your z position go bam right through the camera just like that all right and it's looking pretty cool it just kind of like swoops in like that it's actually make it so that the screen shakes a little bit whenever we do that and we're actually going to do that in premiere so that we can just bring everything together and just finalize this so let's get this all together let's bring the wolf in here okay guys so here we are back in premiere and since we have that dynamic link everything we did in after effects is over in premiere now all we need to do is let me just find that copy i have with the color grading we did at the beginning and i can just paste it onto this dynamic link layer right there and bam but now all you need to do is just render this out and you're good to go just like that that is the basics of it guys i covered as much as I could have shown you guys the 3d tracking all the way down to even designing the 3d models like I said before if you guys would like a full-blown tutorial talking about how to animate the wolf just really going more in depth with this let me know I'm kind of keeping it within the basics of 3d stuff just because I know my audience is used to after effects used to premiere so I'm always gonna be keeping the after effects and premiere stuff but if you guys really want to kind of explore more um, kind of learn more aspects of video I'm gonna be implementing some of this stuff in there sometimes if you guys don't like it you can just skip the parts. There's always going to be easier tutorials that I put out that don't talk about 3D stuff. But if you guys do like it, hopefully these tutorials help you to kind of take those next steps, learn more from this, just learn how to really get started because I don't think there's a lot of material out there that really talks just about like the beginning steps. So hopefully this is easy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys do want to join the community. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.